the end of 2013 with the merger of North America's two predominant racing series, out went the GX class and we stopped racing. And in order to stay busy and when you lie awake at night trying to figure out what you do to keep your staff, we decided we were going to start trying to build 3.8 liter Caymans that people could buy or send to us to modify. And that's what you have right here. Unless you've been you know, sleeping under a rock or you just refuse to acknowledge any kind of Porsche news, you've heard about what a GT4 is. It's going to be the first mass-produced 3.8 liter Cayman and it's a car that people like me have been waiting for for over a decade banging your fist on your desk you know in anticipation of. It started life as a 3.4 liter Cayman S and it's gonna leave with pretty much everything that I could think to bolt to it to make as much power as we could. The goal all along was 450 horsepower. It's PDK that's got a set of car graphic high flow mufflers, it's got a set of headers with 200 cell cats, it's got high flow BMC filters, and it's got an aftermarket tune out of Germany. And we just dynoed it. The car makes anywhere from 375, you know, to 378 at the tires all day long, and it drives, looks, and feels like a stock car. <laughs> heard me say 911 GTS, DFI, X51, all these acronyms, but this motor, which is a 430 horsepower 991 motor, is exactly like the motor that we developed for racing, that we've been racing it since 2011, 2012. We ran through the 24 hours of Daytona, and this car is different from a GT4, one, because it's PDK, and two, because it has, it's estimated to make 430 to 450 horsepower. It's got big, huge Brembo brakes up front, 380 millimeter, six piston calipers, got big discs in the back that I think are 330 millimeter. It's got strut braces, it's got sway bars from a GT3 up front, but it still has air conditioned seats and this is every bit of a daily driver 3.8 liter came in and I think, you know, that's the allure of it. Now that the GT4 is out, demand for a 3.8 converted came and slowed down, but then once everybody realized you can't even get one no matter what kind of deal you have, people are selling their soul to try and get one, but they can't. And here we are busy again building cars like this and we're just happy to stay busy and be able to sell stuff that we learned through racing because we put this stuff through some of the harshest of environments we know it works and we know that it works for the street and everybody who has bought a car like this for the tracker street has nothing but smiles and giggles on their face we want to appreciate grassroots motorsports i want to say thank you to the guys at grassroots for letting us you know speak on their behalf try and boost their youtube followership who knows maybe we'll have more than 10 followers on our youtube page but if you got some free time, go to Grassroots YouTube channel, check it out. They've always got a ton of videos. It's not just Porsche stuff. It's not just a guy like me jabbering about Porsches. They've got everything. And, you know, it, it's still one of the best periodicals for the grassroots racer that wants to learn about racing, wants to hear stories about what they can do to their car.